Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are not interested in a video that is not about Phalaenopsis, it's time to tune out. This one is about the other purchases that I've been making recently on Trade Me. So if you want to hear about my Trade Me experiences, you can watch the video. So I've definitely decided to diversify a little from Phalaenopsis orchids and recently have been purchasing some others. I've decided to buy myself some cat layers, some um, patio petalums, and I've even bought myself a sherry baby, which are, is an orthontal blossom. No, that's not correct. <laughs> a sherry baby, sweet fragrance. So I'll go through how much I've paid for each item. Um, when I've bid on them, which of course Trade Me is bidding, and my experience with what I've received and etc. So we'll start off with this beautiful little one here that is a Pathio Petalum. It has really good growth there. I'll turn it round because yes, I've used my favourite ties again, and it also has a second little one growing. Okay, so this one just came in a plastic bag. And it has definitely been bug free, a very happy little plant. It's in really good condition. So I paid $28 for this one. Then, of course, you have to consider that um, you pay for postage as well. Um, the reason for using Trade Me is that I can't buy on eBay, I can't go through any other website that isn't in New Zealand because we have regulations with getting things into the country here. Um, and it's you're only able to basically buy, sell or swap what other people have bought in in a flask and grown on. So that's my reason for trying Trade Me for some different places to find some orchids. I was running out of places to find anything interesting, so Trade Me seemed to be the next best option. So that one there was $28 plus its postage. And there was, I think, two or three other bids on that one. Um, all said and done i am very very happy with it it's beautiful and the next one that i'll show you had a very very similar flower in fact it would not surprise me if it was doubled up although this one here in the shot does not have um, any id so that's now an, a no id pathia pedal so my next one here that looked very very much the same is I will read that one out because that tag is just very, very hard to read. So it is Signature Full Moon Cross Star Scream Samantha's Pick. And it had a very, very similar flower that has now been chopped off. And it now has a second fan coming out very nicely. So that one there I got on a bid. Um, from a sort of semi-private seller and I actually paid $47 for that one there. There were lots of people bidding on this gentleman's um, plants. He has some very unusual, some very gorgeous plants and some of his auctions for a similar wee plant were going for over $101. So that's another little patio petalum. Okay, my next group of three patio petalums were all from the same buyer. They were, I think, $35 for two of them and $30 for one of them, plus my postage, which brought me to just over $109. So, I don't even know how to say that one. And that is the only one that is mottled leaf. So that's really gorgeous. The other two are Path Exul there at the end. With, I think three fans. This one here probably has four plus and a mini fan. Um, Insigne. Very sundry. Okay, no flowers yet, but I think that they're actually at flowering stage. So I'm very, very happy with those. They definitely came bug free. They're healthy plants. Very, very happy with that purchase there. 
Okay, so now we will skip to a huge Pathio Petalum there with beautiful pink flowers. So that has came with one open flower and two buds. Since then the bud has opened up. So that's the second one and the third one is still in the unopened stage. So that has a massive amount of fans in there, so many that you probably couldn't count them all. Now I'm pretty sure that this one had been an outside plant. I've cleaned up its leaves and brought it in for protection over winter because it's too cold here in Taranaki to leave it outside. So that one there cost me 50 plus quite a bit for postage because as you can tell it's a reasonable size plant. So that is the last of my paths I have purchased at this stage. Okay, so let's now go to seedling. So this is a Cattleya seedling. And there is its tag. This one is from an orchid nursery that I have purchased from before, but I've never had Cattleyas. So that's just a seedling, probably going to take me quite a long time to get that to uh, become a full-size plant that will flower. So I have also purchased a different Cattleya. Now this one says that it is um, flowering size, but hard to get all of that in one shot. So there we go. Um, has a brand new uh, spike coming out the back there has three kind of pseudo bulbs and I'm just learning about these has a few aerial roots that I'm trying to mist now and then so the tag on this one is Cattleya Intermediary times L. purpurata V. carnea Now please excuse me if I'm not saying those names correctly. I'm definitely not well versed in uh, anything to do with Cattleyas. So looking forward to this one actually getting its pseudo bulb and hopefully, maybe this year, this summer, a flower. Who knows? It's a bit of a sit and wait, wait and see for me. Okay, so this one was from a private buyer, and this one is my Sherry Baby. Sweet fragrance, and yes, I have repotted her, just quite simply because it was quite yellow, and I wondered if there was anything wrong with its root system, but no, its roots are perfect. It's probably been exposed to quite a bit of light, and I've since looked up that they go more yellow when they've had a lot of light and the older foliage will go yellow. So that is perfectly healthy and oh boy I am really really looking forward to some flowers from there. I love chocolate, I love the smell of chocolate. Really looking forward to that one. Just trying to find a price on what I paid for that. So that one there, oops, my Sherry baby, when I bid on her, there was someone else bidding against me and I paid $40 plus a post. Don't know whether that's a bargain or whether it's not, but Sherry baby I wanted. So now Sherry baby and chocolate smelling flowers I shall have. So, so far I am more than happy with my purchases on Trade Me. Um, I am doing a few more orders from different places so I'll update you how I go but there you go happy experiences from all of my traders on trade me I've also purchased four cymbidians that are outdoor orchids that I've never ever had before they came bare rooted which I was quite surprised about but there again that's to save a massive amount of postage paying for weight um, so I repotted them up they did have the odd bug or two climbing out of the box, so a reminder to keep your plants in quarantine and away from all of your other beautiful plants when you're unboxing something brand new and when you 
uh, have just brought them into your environment. So you will notice with Trade Me that apart from this little pot here that I've purchased myself, they usually come just as they are and however the, the, um, the people have been growing them. But all so far, a very, very happy, happy, wonderful experience with my purchases from Trade Me. So if you liked my video, please give me the thumbs up. If you didn't like my video, give me the thumbs down. Please subscribe to my channel if you're interested. And for those who are, thank you. And everybody have a great day. Thanks. See you later.